Well, the good news, Meredith, is that as of right now, we are expecting all four kids to be okay. The Florida Highway Patrol says they all suffered non-life-threatening injuries. We're told that a three-year-old suffered the most severe injuries. And within the last 15 minutes, we've learned more about how this all happened. You can see the black Toyota Venza behind me. Florida Highway Patrol tells me that a crash that originated on the road sent this black Toyota Venza across the parking lot. It actually crashed into the fence that separates the parking lot from the beach. And we're over here by Al Weeks Park. And the car came to end right over here by the water, uh, hitting all four kids in that process. We've also learned more about the driver. Florida Highway Patrol says that that driver did not remember what happened. That driver has also been transported to the hospital. And since we've been here on scene, as you can imagine, this scene has attracted a lot of attention from beachgoers in the area, as well as neighbors in the area. They've all gathered out here. Their biggest concern now is that uh, na this car could still be here as the tide continues to come in. You can see water levels are already reaching this car. Uh, it'll be interesting to find out uh, when exactly they're planning on moving this vehicle. But again, all four of those kids are expected to be okay as we learn more information about their condition and about what caused this crash to happen. We're going to bring that information to you. But for now, we are live at Ormond by the Sea, Sonica Dange, West 2 News.